Hello. If you look around the internet uh, looking for help with regard to recording your music, you will see an absolutely overwhelming um, supply of <clears throat> really useful videos and tutorials uh, and they range from well just every aspect actually of writing and recording your own music um, I've watched many of them I've taken and learned good useful information from many of them um, but I, it, it made me wonder when I started to see things like uh, the best way to dot 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 uh, the best apps to this the best way to whatever it might be um, and it was all based around something that I've spoken about before efficiency now efficiency when you're producing something um, is paramount when you actually know what you're doing and you want to achieve something the, the, the quickest possible way that you can achieve it has to be the best way it is, it's about being uh, efficient and effective so a lot of these videos do a, a a brilliant service it makes sense why would you want why would you not want to be efficient uh, well I just want to throw a little bit of a a curveball on that because I think there is a place for inefficiency just bear me out I'm not I'm not playing devil's advocate here uh, it is something that I've, I've thought about, and in particular because of the way I record um, and produce music uh, and pretty much anything that I do. Um, there is an element here that I'd like to explore further with you, and that is the idea of being inefficient. And I know it sounds wrong. Just bear me out. So, um, I'm wondering whether inefficiency as part of the process of creating music is just as productive and sometimes more productive than being nearly efficient. And I, and I suppose I suppose what I have to do is separate it out to explain it a little bit better. Um, as I've said before, there's a there's a creative process or a creativity to um, writing music, to coming up with the initial ideas and the thoughts. And then you could quite easily say, oh, there's also then the productive element, which is uh, I've got lots of bits and pieces how best to get those down efficiently on a door or however you want to record it um, how best to catalogue those ideas so I can find them later um, how best and the most efficient way to uh, put the tracks together in the particular software or hardware that I'm using again efficiency uh, how best to then mix down all my tracks, efficiency, um, how best to manage my time, myself, my ears so that I don't uh, overdo the listening, efficiency, how best to master my tracks and what apps or techniques I should employ, efficiency. 
you see everything can be about efficiency being efficient and that's a that's a good quality because it is about being ordered and knowing what you're doing or getting um, getting tutorials from other people who knew and know what they're doing and you can take those on board and use them as part of your production where I break away from this is that sometimes the creative element the most important aspect of it is about um, being there and by that I mean always being in the moment of searching always being apologies for the term mindful of what you're injecting into this process now the process might be slightly random uh, you might be lost searching for an idea, searching for inspiration, got a glimmer of something going on in your head and you've got an instrument or you've got a vocal line or you've got a, you're clipping some samples and you're, or you hear something and you, you're searching for it. Um, you can very easily say, ah, if I have everything in place here, I can be efficient in my searching. And that's where I'm questioning the idea of efficiency. I think that it's not so much about being inefficient, it's merely not worrying about efficiency at, at, at these times. Um, but actually, the Writing music by being there is, a, it is hard graft and the hard graft on reflection possibly feels that you weren't being efficient, maybe, maybe not, maybe just that it's, it's hard graft and you're searching around for something and you're, you're trying to focus on something. Um, that you can't quite grasp and I think that the the inefficiency the um, free fall if you like of those moments I, I think really do give the musician and the writer something back in bucket loads the, the, the feeling that you've that you've really got something by hard graft that you'll you'll end up at the end of the day mentally and physically drained that you've that you've actually you felt like you've worked and I think that sometimes when you're efficient and you use a process that the process and the efficiency and the uh, you know the pat on your back for being efficient and for doing this right and for all remembering how best to actually set up your apps um, is all about um, uh, taking a shorter amount of time to do something and that is really important when it's when you're commercializing yourself or you're working for someone else the absolute indulgence of inefficiency and I I fully admit it and that is an indulgence I'm talking about of being inefficient is the freedom that I think can release the creative ideas and the concepts and uh, release that chord structure that you were looking for or that other way of thinking the inefficiency of not always having a rigorous way of looking at stacking apps and using um, uh, using your uh, plugins in a particular way uh, although we all have our favorites 
um, becomes a thoughtless process and sometimes it's really important that it is a thoughtless process because you go well I, I stack these up this way to do so that I'm mastering this is what's on my mastering channel absolutely right it, it works why would you want to just forget about that and, and do something different each time I get that there are some efficiencies that that are locked in um, because you want to create the end product in the best way that you can but hey how about if you didn't do that how about if you said if you just decided to mix something and master it in mono through an inefficiency through forgetting to do something or just saying why do I want it to be squeaky clean why do I want this to be sounding like something on the radio or sounding like this thing over here and I think that's what the inefficiencies do the the um, the brain is allowed free reign the thought of why should I do this the same way or not even necessarily consciously thinking about it the fact that you've lined up different apps different plugins maybe no plugins and you start from scratch sometimes that inefficient way of working at that stage of writing music is an interesting one because then you're not treading the same path so your sonics your treatments of musical instruments um, might be different and therefore that difference makes you think about mixing in a different way and I think that's what's really interesting about the idea of inefficiency um, I suppose what I'm saying to go back to the order chaos thing is that what you're doing is you're, pl you're plugging in chaos, a little bit of chaos and I think that's really important um, if you plug in chaos what you're doing is you're plugging in chance uh, you're plugging in um, the unexpected and humans are great at adapting or lock, locking into things that are unexpected if everything is expected and you pick up a guitar and you plug it into the amp with your favorite settings that's absolutely fine but what if you plugged in a different guitar and you knocked a setting accidentally and that um, act of clumsiness maybe suddenly transports you into thinking about your guitar in a different way or the track in a different way because all of a sudden this uh, guitar doesn't sit in a track the way that you expected it to um, it, it's like a um, my, my I can remember a, um, a track in the 80s I think it was by the band uh, Scottish band Orange Shoes my god he's got a horrible fuzz guitar sound it is probably one of the worst guitar sounds I've ever heard just god awful however when that track comes up on the radio it's got it's got its own personality and sonics to it it's mixed in well with the rest of the track it's a very simple track but actually you kind of go that's it that's refreshing because it sounds different and and it is still musical but I just hated the, that sort of a uh, uh, color sound fuzz type 70s thing that, that went around with some of the, those early awful fuzz guitar boxes were just diabolical but they have a really interesting waspish uh, range and they cut through they they cut through the mix so you have to treat them in a slightly different different way and and i think um that even that even though i hated the sound at the time years later you come back to you say oh that's quite refreshing and you go ah i've got a use for that but little waspy buzz saw thing that's made me think about how i might be able to use that in stereo in there almost with the symbols because they ha they inhabit some of the same areas of symbols as well and so you see how the sort of slightly um, things that aren't planned the chaotic the inefficient side of 
<clears throat> whatever you do creatively um, is the one that's that can surprise you and reinvigorate uh, your thoughts uh, possibly lead you to onto different paths um, makes you think about things slightly differently I don't know whether this has made sense or not it's kind of making sense to me I'm hoping it makes sense to you um, but anyway here's another babble and um, inefficiency has its place definitely just don't be inefficient all the time. People don't like it. Catch you later.